Yo, it is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be going over all of the new next players that did get released in NBA 2K22. My team, guys, we've got a ton of dark matters. All the next cards are dark matters in my team. And then we also do get Invincible Evan Mobley, Cade Cunningham, and Scotty Barnes. So if you guys are excited for the NBA draft, if you are excited for the rookie uh, kind of draft class, guys, look. It's a, it's a new time in 2K, man, and, and I'm super excited about it. Obviously, Keegan Murray's from Iowa, where I'm from, so that's what I'm personally most excited about. But just take a deep dive, deep dive into each and every one of the new next cards that did get released in my team. And again, if you are new to the channel, man, make sure to smash that subscribe button as we are on the road towards 100,000 subscribers. So the first thing I'm noticing is... It's end game in my team. It is. I mean, 45 Hall of Fame badges for Atari East in here. And that's the crazy part is before this, I mean, the best cards and sets had like 37 Hall of Famers maxed. And so, yeah, it's a new era in my team. 6, 8, 17 weeks, man. That's my from error. 45 Hall of Famers, 29 on gold, 94 three ball, 85 standing duck, 95 driving duck, 94 two ball, a 90 ball handle, 94 speed acceleration, 94 interior, 95 perimeter, good steel block ratings as well. Defensively has everything. Playmaker wise has everything. He needs Chef added to him. But outside of that, He's got everything. It comes down to the animation. 75 on very quick is not a great release. It's fine. I don't want to sit here and slander it. It's just not great. Quick dribble style. Kobe is size of escape. Scotty moving by the back. Quick drops off one as well. The small forward position, depending on the price he settles for, man. Tari Eason is absolutely incredible in my team. I forgot about this. Yes, they can't, you know, put the jerseys on them. So they're, they're just, the card art's pretty bland in general. Mark Williams up next. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say a, a statement that you guys might not like. I'm gonna look at his release before I make it. If you look, and I'm not saying he's better than Will Chamberlain, but if you locked in for Will Chamberlain, I'm I'm sorry. Why? Because Mark Williams is gonna be probably relatively cheap. He's seven two with a seven six wingspan. Again, can play the power forward position. Yes, his three ball is not high, but outside of his three ball, I mean the card is elite. And the thing is, you give him a three-ball shoe, floor general. Oh, yeah, it's Hall of Fame catch shoe quarter specialist. Giannis base on very quick, normal leaner. Quick dribble style. Scotty move by the back again. He's not as good as Wilt Chamberlain. But what I'm saying is, I mean, it's a new era in my team. This card has no flaws. Maybe the three-ball. But my whole thing is, he's got the badges he needs. Playmaker-wise, is perfect. This card is absolutely lead. A seven-foot-two. Mark Williams is him in my team benedict mathern up next mathern up next here six 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 nine wingspan hot spots from everywhere 45 other favors 24 on gold again six 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 nine wingspan isn't great but look at the card there's really no flaws in it you know 97 speed 95 lateral quinn is good three ball setting dunk driving duck is good defensively pretty solid shooting wise obviously incredible Jump shot 99 on very quick, which is the Gerald Wallace release, which is really good. Quick dribble style, Steph size of Katie says escape sky to move by the back, normal leaner as well. Do I think this card is good? I mean, honestly, he's not bad, but I think he's the worst card we've seen so far. I think Tari Eason's better. I think Mark Williams is better. And I mean, maybe it's a lot of it's the height. It probably is, but with the card only being 6'6. Six, six, it's a little bit of a downside. Now, Johnny Davis here is up next from Wisconsin. The card can play point guard. Now, it's good because he's only 6'5", so it's, it's good that they made a point guard eligible. Hot spots for 45 other favors, 28 on gold. 94, 3 ball, 85 driving duck, 75 standing duck, 94 speed ball, 90 ball handle. Does come with a 94 speed acceleration, 92 interior, 95 perimeter, good lateral quickness as well. All these cards are complete. So, I mean, it really going to come down to the animations again. 87 on very quick. Steve Nash base, not great. Quick dribble style. Kobe size of KD, size of escape. Scotty move on the back. I mean, the card's not bad, but Steve Nash, at least. I mean, are we kidding me? Not super high on Johnny Davis either. I mean, there's a lot of cards here. I'm not super high on Johnny Davis. Jalen Duran up next. Now, 
Six eleven seven three wingspan again. If you have Monty Williams, the reason I'm going to show Monty is just because a lot of people probably do. You're looking at an 89 three ball, 99 speed, 99 interior, 99 perimeter. But base card does have an 84 three ball. Outside of that, the card is an invincible card. You can't convince me elsewise. Uh, otherwise, this card is basically an invincible. Outside of the three ball. He comes with jump shot 94 on very quick, which is the Jermaine O'Neal release. I'm kind of, I kind of have a sp split opinion on that. It is quick. It's not the easiest to time. Quick dribble style, Scotty move by the back. Long athlete layup package. This card is elite too. I mean, you're seeing me say that a lot, but these cards are elite. Play my power forward. Dern is going to be one of the best power forwards in the entire game. Dyson Daniels up next. This card might be the cheesiest card we see today. 6'8". Seven foot weeks, man. Hot spots from ever. 45 Hall of Famers. 29 on gold. Good three ball. Driving up is fine. Standing up at a 50 is not great, but it's good enough. Remember, 6'8", 94 interior, 96 perimeter, 95 lateral quickness, 96 speed. Shooting wise, fine. Playmate wise, fine. Defensively, nearly perfect. Again, again, it come down to the animations. X some base on very quick. Quick dribble style. D-Rose size up. Kobe size of escape. Scotty move on the back. Normal leaner. Quick drops off one. This is the best card we've seen today by a wide margin. And, and, and he's going to be one of the best point guards in the game. And on current gen, specifically speaking, on current gen, I'm telling y'all, man, he's probably a top three or so point guard in the game. This Dyson Daniels card is him in my team. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. X and base on very quick. Quick dribble style. D-Rose size of Kobe size of Scape. Scotty moving by the back. Quick drops. X and on very quick with the normal leaner. Yeah. Dyson Daniels has just got it in my team. AJ Griffin from Duke up next. 6669 six, six, weeks. Man, 75 base badges. 45 of them on Hall of Fame. Hot spots from everywhere. What do you want me to say about his stats? I mean, he is basically perfect. And when I say these cards are basically invincibles, they don't lack any badges. So you get AJ Griffin. What are you going to put on him? Rise up, floor, general box. I mean, the card doesn't need anything. Jump shot 49, which is, you know, the JR, Richard Jefferson type base. Quick dribble style, pro size up escape. So is this card bad? I mean, he's not bad. He's basically a mini Richard Jefferson. That's the way you got to look at this card. Is he better than Richard Jefferson? Well, here's what I'm going to say. If you didn't get Richard Jefferson, here's your here's your chance. Now, I'd still like Richard Jeff Jefferson size up a little bit more, stuff like that. But, I mean, here's your chance. You missed out on RJ. You got a chance basically to get a, a similar card to RJ and AJ Griffin for probably relatively cheap. Keegan Murray, the man with the plan from Iowa up next. <laughs> I'm excited, man. Six, nine at the small forward position. Seven, one week spent. Hot spots from everywhere. 45 out of favors. 31 to go. 95 three ball. 90 driving duck. 80 standing duck. 92 speed ball. 90 ball handle. 93 speed acceleration. 94 lateral quit is good interior perimeter. Defensively complete. Playmaker wise complete. Shooting wise. They made this Keegan Murray absolutely elite shooting wise with very good finishing as well tendency wise solid Steph based on very quick normal leader quick dribble style Kobe size escape Scotty move by the back quick drop ducks oh my gosh he is 6'9 and can do all of this at the small forward position I'm, I might cry man they, they made Keegan Murray so good in my team I cannot wait to use this card, and I'm not just saying that. Is he the best lockdown defender in the game? No, but he's really good. And shooting-wise, with that step face, yeah, Keegan Murray's just got it in my team. Absolutely elite. Jaden Ivey, I'm glad they made him able to play the point guard position. Only 6'4", six, 6'7", six, wingspan from Purdue. One of the most athletic players you will ever see. Six, or 45 Hall of Famers. 29 on golden. I mean, stat wise, you got 99 speed acceleration, 99 speed with ball, 94, you know, three ball. Defensively, not great. I'll say it. Not the best defender in the game. D Rose, I'm very quick. Quick dribble style. Scotty move on the back. Mitchell dribble six. Look, he's only 6'4, and that's the problem with Ivy, but he's still going to move pretty well with that D Rose size up. Jabari Smith up next, and, and I just know. I got excited about Keegan Murray, but Jabari Smith's probably just going to be a better uh, better player than him. 6'10", 7'2", wingspan, 97, 3 ball, 90 driving deck, 85 standing deck, 95 seat ball, 90 ball. I mean, every stat badge in the game you can want. Animations, Ray on very quick. Trey Young leaner, which everybody loves. I got to get used to it. Quick dribble style, D-Rose size of Trey size of Scotty Boom by the back. Look. 
you're looking at the new best small forward in the entire game. And I'm, I'm there, there, right now, with what I've covered right now, there is not one small forward in the game that's better than what I just saw. There's just not. There is just not any better small forwards than Jabari Smith. It's that simple from what I've seen so far. 6'10", Trey size of escape, quick dribble style, Ray on very quick. He's got it in my team. As much as I love Keegan Murray, it's they're not even comparable. Vonchero up next, 6'10", 72 weeks, man, out spots from everywhere. Power forward center, so can't play the three. 45 out of the favors, 34 on gold, only missing one badge that's being teardrop for 93 three ball and basically an invincible card outside of that. Pass perception's a little low, but that really doesn't matter. Defensively solid, playbook wise solid, shooting wise obviously very solid. Rudy on very quick, normal leaner, quick dribble style, normal size up escape. I don't even know what that's like. I mean, I, I really don't even know what the normal size up escape is like. So it'll be interesting to see. I, I, I guess that's what Denny's got. No, Den Denny has the Kobe size up escape. What, what are we talking about here? What are we talking about here? Denny does not have the normal size up, does he? I, I guess he does. I thought. I thought Denny always had the Kobe size up, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but maybe the normal size of escape. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but he does have a Scotty move by the back. Is Bonchero as good as a guy like Jabari Smith? No, but I will say, guys, I will say it. With the Rudy base, I'm very quick. He's going to be really solid in my team. Chet Ogram up next. They juiced his wingspan to 7 feet 8. Hot spots for 45 out of favors, 34 on gold, 96 three ball. Look at the stats of this card. The strength at an 87 is a little bit low. The dude comes with every badge outside of Teardropper. There's no flaws in a card. Jump shot 110. No idea what that's like. I mean, I can go test it out after this video, but I have no idea what that's like. Quick dribble style, Kobe size up. Trey size of escape, Luca. Uh, obviously moving by the back. Steph leaner. I mean, I'm sorry if you locked in for Will Chamberlain. I'm, I, I just have to say it. I mean... Is Will going to be better than Chet? Yes, but I'm just sorry because these cards are nearly just as good. And man, is Chet Holgram so, so elite in my team. Then we get to the Invincibles. Cade Cunningham. Wait, what? How is Cade an Invincible with 45 Hall of Famers? I'm confused. These got to be wrong, right? Like, these got to be wrong, right? An Invincible with 45 Hall of Fame badges? I mean, that's no way that's right. I mean, maybe I guess it's right. If this is an Invincible, I guess. Maybe badge-wise, they just didn't juice him. Okay, Invincible Cade Cunningham, I guess. Perfect stat-wise. Badge-wise, with 45 Hall of Famers, he's still good. He's just not that souped of an Invincible. I mean, he has every badge you need outside of Rim Protector, but I guess I was expecting a little more. Jump shot 80 on very quick, normal leaner. This card is not great in my team. I'm sorry, this card's not even as good, and I'm going to say it, you guys don't have to believe me, this card is not even as good as Dyson Daniels, it's not even close, Dyson Daniels is way better than Cade Cunningham, I'm sorry if you like Cade, but it's the way it is, Mobley up next, and look, even for Mobley guys, I get he's got every badge in the game, I expected more Hall of Famers, he at least has quick dribble style, Trey size up escape, Francis size up, Scotty move on the back, Steph leaner, so that, I mean, Yes, Evan Mobley is absolutely elite, but is he as good as Chet Holgram? He's not, and so that's the whole thing is Evan Mobley is still really good, and depending on his price, he's going to be solid, but unless they update both Cade and Mobley to those 65 Hall of Famers, I don't see it. Then we get Endgame Scotty Barnes. Only 6'7", with the 7 to wingspan, 99 everything, every badge in the game, animation-wise. Set shot 25 on very quick, which we obviously wanted. Trey, leaner, quick dribble style, D-Rose, size of Curry, size of escape, Scotty move by the back. My question to you guys is this, okay? Set shot 25 is cheesy. So yes, I'm probably taking Scotty Barnes, but I want you guys to tell me down below in the comments. Do you guys think three inches, and three inches is a lot of, of, of the height when you compare Jabari and Scotty Barnes, they both got pretty good releases, Ray and set shot 25. Do you guys think Scotty Barnes is the best small forward in the game? I'm probably leaning yes, but again, he's not the longest. So in all, guys, all in all, these cards are absolutely elite. I mean, if you just started playing my team now, it's not too late. These cards are still it in NBA 2K22, my team. Let me know who you guys are most excited about. For me, I'm most excited about Keegan Murray, but you guys probably, uh, your, your guys is probably a little bit different than I'm mine. But drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.